Hello, this is Renzo from Fantasmic, and today we're taking a look at the H.R. Giger art book, NY City. Uh, this was originally published in 1981, shortly after the release of Alien. And uh, this is a new facsimile edition, which is really great because the original art book has been out of print for a long time and it goes for a pretty hefty price. As you can tell from the title, this book is about Giger's time in New York City. So this is shortly before Alien in around 1977, and then again after the release of Alien in the 1980s. This book is also very much about his evolution as an artist, because when we think of Giger, we think of his biomechanical art. And we see how he gets that across with these very like rigid shapes and he achieves this sort of combination of organic and rigidity by utilizing stencils, which is detailed in the introduction. A lot of times it's using um, die cut pieces of metal that were intended for circuit boards. Sometimes it's cake doils or pieces of cardboard, but all of that like goes into his sort of artistic process done through airbrush. Another interesting thing about these paintings is that he did no preliminary sketches for any of these. All these were just straight airbrushed right onto the canvas. The interesting thing about this book is that it's both uh, an exhibition of Giger's artwork, but it's also a little bit of a scrapbook and travelogue. This is Giger's perspective of 1970s to early 80s Bronx's burning New York which was a very different time. I mean, New York sucks in many ways now, but it sucked in different ways back then. That's the short version. There's some great shots here of Giger with Debbie Harry, as well as at the Oscar party for Alien. We don't usually think of Giger as a landscape artist, but that's very much what this book is about. There are journal entries from Giger himself and some of his associates uh, talking about their time in New York and getting to meet cab drivers, what it was like going through Central Park, seeing a racer head, brown bagging it on the airplane ride over. So it gives the book kind of a, a more intimate feel. And uh, with the addition of these photographs, it's, it's like somewhere between an art book and a scrapbook. It, it, it gives you a very close feel to Giger that you don't ordinarily get from just a standalone straightforward art book. And thanks to the large format of the book, you really get a very up close look at his artwork. You really get to take in the details because of the size. This book is in the Phantasmic store. Uh, check it out while you can because supplies are limited. Thank you for watching.